Hello guys, welcome to another video of Dead Frontier 2. Today I'll be showing you my rifle build, but it's uh, with the scout. So let's get straight into the skills. There are the skills. Sprinter 5, Reloading 5, Marksman 5, Quickshot 5, Headhunter 5, Rifle Expert 5, and Hunter 5. So, why Sprinter? I prefer Sprinter over the Jugger, and I think it's better. That's just my opinion. You know, it doesn't, you don't have to agree with that. Uh, but it's a fact. Um, I like dealing more RPS. That's my stat stick. You want to get like uh, damage versus infected and mutated and mobility stat on your stat stick if you're using the scout and uh, inventory capacity if you can. That's really good if you can get. The scout is not like the best. You want to get a neither scout like weapon headshot, weapon mutated, and like weapon attack speed, or weapon headshot, weapon mutated, and weapon no weapon headshot damage versus infected and weapon attack speed something like that if you can get mobility that's perfect as well or maximum accuracy on your weapon that's perfect as well these are the gloves the gloves doesn't have to be the same as mine you can get headshot mutated and like attack speed that's really good if you can get gloves like this and like if you get maximum accuracy on the gloves or damage versus infected that's even more like better uh, the helmet you want on the helmet headshot mutated and attack speed and like maximum accuracy if you can get that's like will be perfect if you could get something like that on the helmet but if not instead of the maximum accuracy you can go for damage resist infected as well the vest it gotta be the hawks worn out vest it gotta be like this one because you need that maximum accuracy like you really need that the shoes I have three sprint stats and uh, jog speed. It's if you're a sprinter, but like the jog speed is just extra, you know, to be there. Or you can get walk speed if you're a sprinter. Uh, but if you if you're a jogger, you want like jog and walk speed. Same with the uh, legs. So yeah, um, I'm trying to show you like cheap version of a rifle build bosser, but with a scout. So. I think uh, Scout is really cheap to use because ammo is not that expensive and it's pretty strong, you know, for what it gives. So yeah, let's uh, get into killing the bosses and let's show you how strong it is. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let's go.
I'm hoping uh, that we find uh, the uh, Titan or Tendril in this one. But this is the last one. Right, that uh, will be it guys, for this uh, video, I hope you like it, and uh, I hope this helps you, so you know like how strong can a rifle build be, like I said this build is not at 100%, uh, so yeah, the bossing can be, do. you can kill bosses much faster and such, so it's really good because it's the ammo is really cheap like one stack is like 100 or so like that's literally nothing when you pay for like 762 you'll pay like um around from 400 like 3 350 to 500 that's around how much is a 762 but yeah the build is really strong as you can see you can clear pretty fast and it's you know the ammo is cheap and and scout is not expensive and uh, I think you can get good items for a really cheap price like like I said you don't have to have exact same price as I do so guys that will be it for this video I hope this helped you a bit I hope you learned something in this uh, video make sure you join my discord um, Jay-Z world or join our as well join our uh, community discord that's based on that frontier too we're called cleanup crew we have over 130 members, make sure you join there as well. And yeah, that will be it guys. Uh, uh, I hope I helped you, you learned something, and I'll see you guys in another video of Dead Frontier 2. Have a great day guys, peace, I'll see you another time.